Providing a bit of entertainment for the people in the anchorage this morning. Ground tackle is an essential part of any World Cruiser's practical insurance policy. A valuable piece of equipment, it tethers you during storms and stops you from drifting into obstacles and reefs. But what lies beneath is sometimes a mystery that we have no control over. We had inadvertently dropped our anchor amongst rocks with a reef behind us. So Darren was on a mission to untangle us before things got messy. Typically there's traffic everywhere, it's a very busy waterway here. There's guys in taxis running, people backwards and forwards from the islands. and Yeah, some of them are uh, travel really, really fast, so yeah. The road rules over here are a bit dodgy, bro. Underneath me, my honey was employing all manner of strongman feats. I wonder if he's having any success down there. I know, I saw that it got quite sort of stuck. Yeah, well, I, it was quite funny as as I was untangling it, the boat was slipping back and <laughs> it was pulling me away from the anchor. I, I managed to get the anchor around the other side of this big rock. Yep. And then, then as I was freeing it up, it was slipping away on me and so I had to sort of put a bit of a loop over the rock to stop the boat sliding away <laughs> on me so otherwise I was going to need another piece of hose. <laughs> Fun and games. Yeah, it's good. Well done, my love. So we've been receiving quite a few emails from you guys actually asking how we're provisioning these days with our new diet. And yeah, we are still just eating the fresh fruit and veg and we're doing really well with it actually. I stocked up on a whole lot of grains and whatnot just in case we run out of food, but man, we have not run out of food. Check this place out. This is the Port Vila Markets and it's just absolutely loaded with all kinds of fruit and veg that you could ever want to have. Yeah, so this is like heaven for us right now. Really good. The Port Vila Markets are bustling, vibrant and filled to the brim with all manner of organically grown produce which is brought in by boat from villages in the outer islands and Afate surrounds. It's quite the community here with many women and children staying the week through. Produce is brought in in large bundles and literally prepared for sale on the spot. How's this for packaging, right? This is a woven basket, so they use these instead of plastic baskets in a lot of circumstances. It's very cool. Got my sweet potato on the go. Done. So Vanuatu has actually gone uh, plastic free, which is really great because you don't see all these plastic bags, but what they use is the palm fronds for weaving baskets and also for a really clever idea for putting 
letters together, so they string letters together with a palm front. How clever is that? Ninety percent of the packaging here is recyclable. You'll even find nuts packaged in their own shell. It smells so good. It smells so good, all this fresh produce. How lucky are we? Fresh island spinach. Way to go. Thank you. Thank you with the last. Let's get with you. Traditional meals such as lap lap are found in the food hall. Much of it served on palm leaves. So we've had this problem with our loo and it kept sort of blocking up. And Darren has discovered the culprit is actually these mangoes. They're really fibrous. And so the fibres have actually been getting around the blades and blocking them up. But I don't reckon these mangoes are as fibrous, so I'm trying to negotiate being able to buy mangoes again. <laughs> <laughs> Darren's like, no, no more mangoes. And I'm like, we've got to have mangoes, baby. <laughs> Let me have a mango. Uh, you can have one. I can have one, but if the, two, the loo blocks up, it's my job to free up the loo again. <laughs> Commitment. Come on, mango. <laughs> Don't be fibrous. <laughs> so how's this the packaging? So this is a coconut that's been cut down already. And I cut it down even further so we can just drink and go. That's Darren trying to get our wireless Windex remote to work. <laughs> We're so reliant on it now, it's really funny. But uh, yeah, we're heading off to sea today, so very exciting. We're just gonna go over and fuel up, and then uh, we shall be off. Okay, the perils of anchoring. We've hooked up a large cable. We're trying to leave. Have a look at this. What's the plan, my honey? Uh, we're going to just tie a line around the back of the arch and then we'll let the chain go and it'll just let it go. So, Fingers crossed. Oh, it'll be, it'll be good. <laughs> You're amazing. Um, Move it to the right. Keep going to the right. About there, yep. Okay. Okay, well, we've uh, attached a line to the anchor and now we're gonna drink, drop the chain and see if the anchor flicks it through free. Fingers crossed, everyone. Let's see if our plan works. Beauty! <laughs> With the anchor free, we hoisted sail and said goodbye to the beautiful country of Vanuatu, whose region and people have given us so many incredible experiences and heartfelt moments. It was a bittersweet goodbye, as we were also turning our bow south, away from our previously planned destination. So with the Pacific Ocean crossing ahead of us, we marched on towards our goal. Today is one of those 
non-delightful kind of days. Darren and I are both feeling a bit queasy actually. We're trying to stave off the old Meldemur. And uh, yeah, coconuts, coconut water, and pumplemousse. Number one, as they would say in Vanuatu, number one. That's, uh, so we've pretty much just been eating bananas, pumplemousse, and coconut water. And uh, yeah, it seems to be doing quite well, which is good. But yeah, it is a washing machine out here, I can tell you. <laughs> and it's actually settled down. We've got about uh, 15 knots now on the beam. And we've got this crazy confused seas which are just going bonkers and sarin is being tossed this way and tossed that way and yeah it's madness <laughs> so it's very lumpy very rolly i was just thinking before that if you like imagine you're inside an actual washing machine with several other lots of pieces of clothing and you turn it on to high agitate that's what it's been for about the last four or five hours it's just been uncomfortable. <laughs> anyway, we're marching on. And I'm going to put my head up before something disastrous happens on video. <laughs> like Subscribe and join us next time as we continue our passage across one of the world's most notorious oceans. Oh.